I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. With the plate clean and shiny, it's time to actually get into the dangerous part of the operation. I'm going to make some sharp teeth. First thing we have to do is put some dicom on the tips of the teeth. The teeth are grouped in threes. This first tooth is tipped away from us. This tooth is tipped towards the camera. That tooth is tipped away. Same pattern follows on each one of these groups of three. So from this side, we're going to file the first and the last of each one of these groups and work our way down the saw. Now because this is a cross cut, we want to have it be a slicing action. There's a little bit of a sharper point on this side, on the outside edge. So we're going to file to create that same angle. It means the file is going to be hitting the tooth in this fashion. So we can see the shiny point on the tooth where the file has gone across it. Now we can go on down to the next packet. Now that you have an idea how it works, I'm going to move the camera back because it's right in the way and a little hard to do the filing. As I go along down this blade, I'm seeing that each tooth has got its own individual set and its own individual shape, too. The first tooth is a short point. The last tooth is a long point. So I think it's going to be better to go along and sharpen each tooth in the group as I go. So I just did all the first teeth. Now I'm going to do all the third teeth. It'll be easier to hold the proper angle. That was the last one I did, now I'm doing this one. That's the back side of the middle tooth. 
Now we can do the front side. Now I have all the teeth sharp. I need to go through and check the set. Now the middle tooth points away from me. So I'm going to go along and set each middle tooth. Well, that was fairly easy because I only had to do one third of the teeth on that row. Now I'm going to do the other two thirds on this row. The nice thing about this saw though, the saw plate is very thick. That makes it so I don't have to spend quite so much time babying it to get it in position. There, now the saw is set. Now we just have to put the tote back on it. Wax it up. I think I'll wax it before I put the tote back on it. That way I've got wax on the saw plate. Up inside the handle. Now that we've got saw sharpened, I'll take some of this acetone and take that dicom off of there. Rubbing alcohol takes it off, but this acetone's a lot faster.
clean and sharp pruning saw. All that remains is some testing. Now this one cuts on the return stroke. This is a piece of mulberry tree. Mulberry tree is pretty hard. And this went right through it. So I think we got a successful saw sharpening. Hope John's happy with it. Now I got a little one to do. We'll have to see how this one turns out. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.